Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Friday, October 15th, 2021. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Glad you're tuning in with us here on a Friday night for Talking Fitchburg. And we have a very busy show for you here on this Friday night. We'll get to the latest headlines here in just a minute. Uh, but we got to talk about Fact TV. Fact TV got an award this week. So did the fire department. So did the city of Fitchburg. All together, we got the uh, media award, and we're going to share that with you uh, coming up. Uh, part of uh, a fire uh, award, and I think it's the Professional Firefighters Association. If I if a Andrew is checking into that right now, uh, we'll, we'll share those details with you coming up here in, in just a few minutes. Plus, we'll check in with Kimberly from the Fitchburg Star on a council recap for you. So, a lot to get to. Maybe we'll break the news to her today that we won an award. That's we'll talk about that. I'm guessing uh, live sports uh, tonight on fact TV right after this show. In fact, so you watch this show, there'll be a little break. And then at seven o'clock, you got live coverage of Friday night football and our, our final football game of the season. If you can believe that some prairie coming to town six and oh, Verona four and two. Could there be an upset tonight? Be a heck of a game. If we could pull that one off tonight. Let's uh, go Wildcats. And uh, yeah, we're uh, sitting at third place uh, just behind Middleton and some Prairie here in the standings in the big eight. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and uh, see what happens uh, with the playoffs uh, coming up here in the next few weeks. All right. Update to the recycling day event uh, coming up. Uh, this will be scheduled for Saturday, November 6th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's going to be here at the city hall. And we've got a brochure uh, that's available online and a map showing exactly where you'll be able to uh, dispose of all of your recycled materials, including the med drop box, which actually is at the city hall or uh, police department here at city hall. Uh, on a regular basis. You can come uh, anytime during regular business hours, but we will have that electronic recycling and confidential paper shredding uh, happening here on site. So stop on by and make sure you do check the brochure and the website, which for wi.gov, there are some fees related to electronic recycling. I don't want you to be surprised when you get here and uh, you are charged for additional fees uh, for your recycling, like TVs, for instance. All right, it's uh, happening next week uh, in a continuation of uh, the South Southside Road uh, closure. Uh, they're uh, going to be closing the, the road uh, for starting from Wild Heather Drive to uh, close South Southside Road uh, to Wild Weather, I should say. This is closing October 19th through October 26th. The road is being closed to complete the hill cut south of Wild Heather Drive. So please use local routes while construction is taking place. Andrew has the uh, information there up on the screen showing you exactly where this is going. Detour is available to get around this project and all part of that South Southside Road construction project that is going on uh, currently in that area. So please uh, be aware of that happening next week. If the weather uh, doesn't hold out, uh, notifications will be sent out and we'll of course put those up here on our show and at the website, fitchburgwi.gov. Happening uh, construction on the Beltline next week, daily uh, lane ramp closures next week on Madison Beltline from Verona Road to John Nolan Drive. Uh, this is part of that flex lane work. Uh, the lane closures will occur uh, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Thursday, October 18th through the 21st. In addition, daytime ramp closures may occur Monday through Thursday for Fish Hatchery Road and Todd Drive ramps to the westbound Beltline, as well as Todd Drive ramp to the eastbound belt line. Message boards on those ramps will indicate exact dates and times of the closures. Delays are anticipated on the belt line and drivers should plan for extra time when traveling through the area. Motorists also are urged to pay attention and slow down in the work zones. This all is subject to weather, so we'll keep you up to date if anything changes here on TF. All right, vaccine side effects versus COVID-19 symptoms. Uh, you might think it's better to get COVID Instead of getting the vaccine, well, when you see this chart, you might think twice here. Uh, and uh, it's clear that uh, the side effects uh, of the vir of the vaccine are a lot less than the side effects of ha having COVID-19. And there's still a lot of unknowns of uh, how uh, COVID-19, uh, if you actually have it, if there'll be any long-term effects from having it. We're hearing uh, more and more about longer cases or longer side effects of not having the vaccine. So... You're encouraged to get the vaccine from the CDC, as uh, they say here, and COVID-19 helps prevent you from getting COVID-19 and from severe illness, hospitalization, and death. If you do get it, vaccines are safe and effective and are free. And it uh, doesn't mean that you can't get COVID, but definitely lessens the effects of 
uh, having uh, COVID-19 and we have all those different variants out there as well. So we want to make sure you stay protected. Better Business Bureau has some tips to uh, for you to how to know if someone stole your identity. And they're uh, pretty common uh, ones, uh, common signs uh, that we've talked about on the show. Identity theft is stressful and can be a a tremendous damage to your uh, finances. Important to recognize signs early and uh, common signs. uh, Well, like I said, they're pretty, uh, pretty noticeable. Uh, You receive a statement or bill in the mail (laughs) of account that you never open. Uh, You're surprised uh, by being denied by a loan. Your regular bills stop showing up. You notice suspicious activity at your bank account. You notice when's the last time you checked your bank statements, your credit card statements, or even did a credit check on yourself. Look at this list closely. We'll share the link. You can read the story and find out more information uh, from Better Business Bureau and the Federal Trade Commission. uh, And uh, make sure you do report it, uh, or if you do suspect it, uh, you can call the number on your screen. Finally, want to get this in quick too. The Wisconsin Fall Color Report uh, is out there and uh, the leaves are changing. But here in uh, the Dane County, well, we're still not at peak yet. We're getting there. It's on its way. And uh, the status that I pulled from this morning says we're at about 40%. Estimated week, uh, uh, peak week is fourth week of October. And I'm suspecting with this cold weather coming up and the rain we've had uh, that these leaves will be changing. Colorful leaves are uh, starting to make themselves known, though, in Dane County. Lots of green is still around, but uh, you'll be... Uh, It'd be hard not to go on a street and see at least one or two trees uh, in the uh, full autumn cuddlers, uh, as it says here. So get out there, enjoy fall with the fall temperatures. It's going to be beautiful tomorrow, so you've got that going on for you. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up our digest. We're going to talk about the award the city of Fitchburg uh, took in this past week. That's next right here on Talking Fitchburg.